the um, exterior shapes and then we'll go in with a thinner brush or the thinner pen ink and work our way to like the finer details of the dragon. I think that'll be really good. Um, line weights are incredibly important. I'm not an inker by any stretch. This is just me farting around on Procreate on my iPad. Love it to pieces. Fantastic app. If you ever get a chance to work on, or if you're a fellow creative like I am, even better. I'd love to see your stuff. Um, it is one of the coolest programs ever and has totally kept me uh, sane during COVID. And uh, if, you're, if this is your first time in the channel, I uh, like to work in art. I'm a fairly creative person. So like I did this over stream uh, and my own self-portrait. Here you go. It's me and my greatness. Oh, that's terrifying. I hate it. Um, but because it's Procreate, you can do cool things like show videos of what the thing looked like in the creation process. So uh, I have a fairly rigid way of drawing and or digital painting. I'm not a digital painter by training. So a lot of this is just like learn how to do the thing. Um, and this is the most recent digital painting done on stream it took about seven and a half hours. It's still not done, but I'm also not great at completing my own projects. Womp, womp, womp. Um, usually what ends up happening is I come to a point where I'm just kind of done with it and then I can just start all, uh, start the next thing because usually I'm kind of ready to do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I have apparently a very mean outlook on my own work so it's really nice to hear someone else's compliment not tearing me down uh, so the process is pretty straightforward I always start off with the line drawing so I know where things are the extraneous lines is actually kind of where um, sort of clever demarcations of color shapes whatever so that way I know uh, not to get too muddy in certain areas um, and Overall, I'm kind of paying attention, really close attention to the reference art that I'm working from. Uh, and after a while, I will start working usually from darkest to lightest, uh, get everything on the canvas as quickly as possible. So about this time is about two and a half hours. Um, the line art takes maybe 15 minutes and I feel like I've gotten lazy because like the line art should be done in two minutes. He says, slightly bitter that I don't draw nearly enough to keep my skills this sharp. Um, and then after, and that background is str very strategic because it's a very neutral background that I can pull colors from going lighter or darker. Um, and this gray is actually closer to the background of the photo. So I moved that back and it allows my skin tone to be a lot brighter. Um, so your background is really, really important, I think, uh, in terms of making sure everything fits uh, correctly. Uh, so you're going to, you may be going blind from seizures after, like, you see me adjusting, so you can see what the photo looked like back and forth. So I, I brought, I brought in the photo just so I can see how far off I was, and certain parts were really close. Some of it was not, and that's where I had to make a lot of edits. Uh, and I do prefer to keep my artwork fairly painterly because I figured if you want something to be super uh, realistic, just take a photo. It'll last longer, take a lot shorter a period of time. Um, and yeah, like overall, pretty happy with the painting. It came out pretty good. It looks like me, for better or for worse. Um, and the end result is it's a digital painting. So you're going to see a lot of flashing. So I apologize if that comes comes out like mildly terrifying. Actually, you know what? This one might not have it. Um, wah, wah. It's this one. So this is the actual painting completed. <laughs> Look at that. Um, and so I was flashing the... Uh, the line the actual reference photo to sort of see where how far off I was 
And it's really important to be critical enough of your art that you can identify things that are right or wrong, uh, but not be so critical that you end up hating yourself and never wanting to draw ever, ever again. Good luck walking that fine line. <laughs> so, um, and then uh, I'm a, I would probably consider myself more of a portraitist. Like, so a lot of the stuff I do is just head on portraits. Um, and I like faces. I'm not really big into buildings or landscapes or objects. Nothing wrong with them. We have to live in this space somehow. These faces have to exist on bodies that live in rooms and do cool stuff with their actions. But typically, I like portraitures. Uh, I think portraits tend to be a lot more interesting because people are unique. Um, they're always going to be like different lit, different body shapes. Uh, apparently, I've gotten into the weird thirst trap thing, which I'm... I don't know how I feel about this, but um, yeah, if you have any questions about anything I do, please feel free to ask. It is uh, always welcome, and I will continue my my little drawing of my little dragon buddy. Um, and, and if you have a cool name for a dragon, please let me know, because he does not have a good name as of yet. Right now, I'm thinking Hubert, because... <laughs> The first idea, the first idea you come up with is the best idea. Totally wrong. Don't do that. Um, so at this point, um, all we care about is right now is just the uh, people are blowing fire, setting up fireworks outside. I hope they realize that it's well past Independence Day. Um, so. The nice thing about this is I'm not an inker, so you can see where all of my points spent on my character sheet was spent not in tracing or inking. Uh, and I hope it doesn't look terrible once it's done. I was watching a, a streamer or a YouTuber um, who was talking about Procreate and he recommended this this brush, but the only issue was he only, like all of his settings were in German, so I'm like, I have no idea what I'm looking at and I love the stuff that you're making, but dude, seriously, translate everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully things were translated, but it was like that, that one extra level of complication. Ooh, I like that. Escala? I like that, because he has, like... I didn't know what I was... I, basically, drawing this on the Metro was a lot of fun, but I also was, like, fill my time waiting for a train by adding more and more stuff. So I ended up giving him cool scales and kind of cool things that would make the shape more interesting. Uh, and, yeah, I like that name, Escala. Is that, am I pronouncing it right? I apologize. I am. I don't speak Spanish. I think at one point I knew how to say, where's the bathroom, which is probably the most valuable <laughs> thing to ask. <laughs> 